All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to do an amp test video on this Kenwood KAC 8104D. Now, these are some little baby powerhouses. Uh, 500 RMS at two, 300 RMS at four. At the price point that this was set at, I think around 150 to 180 dollars. It wasn't too bad, especially in its day of age, which was a few years back for sure. But a very efficient amplifier. Uh, has a 40 amp fuse on there so we should be around that 500 rms at 2m it better do it that's all i gotta say because i used to have the 9104 d's and uh, i clamped them musically and i got about 700 watts at like 1.3 ohms but that was dropping down to like 11.5 volts or 10 8 it was a couple of years ago and uh but they did awesome they did awesome so i i have a great belief that this thing will do well too and i hope it does rate it All right, up first, we have the uh, Kenwood KAC 8104D on a four ohm load. We're going to do the certified run first. see too much of that red once we started getting up there so that was a good run uh, so that just goes to show that this works pretty darn well now this isn't going to hold it there um, as accurate and is this as accurate as that I don't want to be the judge but now we have two ways to go about things to see what works and what works because they both work um, so we were able to do 346 watts at 3.7 ohms now that's a little bit lower than the 4 ohm rating, but we were dropping down to, I don't know, 14.2, and that is at a certified number. So 0.3 ohms, is that really gonna make a huge difference? No, it's gonna give you right around that 300 watts. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna uh, take the cap off. We're gonna take it up to 10% THD, which is roughly up to clipping or hard clipping, and see what kind of numbers we can get. <laughs> not bad at all we're able to get 452 watts at around the same 3.6 ohms trying to stay close as we can to four but i can't get right on there i want to i want to get as close as i can with what i have i do not have resistive loads i am stuck with reactive so that still gives you an idea how much power you're getting out of this thing and this thing's two ohm stable so in a realistic setting you're going to see that kind of power in probably a prefab enclosure all right, up next is the two ohm load certified up to 1% THD. Try to give that one uh, little burp here. dropping the 13.9 volts so we're a little shy of the 500 RMS at the certified 1% THD um, you can see we were clipping um, just a tad but nothing crazy um, with that 1% THD that's where it stops the power so it's close but technically it failed but let's see what it does on an uncertified number uh, up to about 10% THD if it goes over, we're gonna rerun again. Let's see if we can get that 500 watts.
I don't know if you can see there, we popped the fuse. Pulling more than 40 amps of current, I bet. <laughs> nice. Hey, you'd rather pop a fuse than blow your amplifier up. So that's that's a good that's a good thing there. <laughs> I mean, we were able to get 480 watts, 2.2% uh, distortion until the fuse popped. Now you could throw a bigger fuse in there and you could probably get that 500 watts. Um, do I really want to do that? No. I know a guy that knows how to uh, refurbish fixed amplifiers, but I really don't feel like sending it to him. So we're going to stick with that number right there. Um, otherwise, did it pass? In my opinion, yeah, because you're not going to see a 2 ohm load. You're not going to run this amp at 1 ohm. Obviously, it popped at 2, and that's what I'm at. I'm at a 1 ohm load. So I do not suggest running it at a 1 ohm load. Now the Kenwood KAC 9104Ds were 1 ohm stable. This one is not. This is a 2 ohm stable amplifier, so you get what you get. Um, but I hope you guys learned something here, that this amplifier does do relatively good power. I mean, we've seen, what, over 300 watts at 4 ohms and 2 ohms. Roughly around the same amount of power, maybe another 100 watts or two. So you're not going to really make significant gains by wiring down on this thing rather than this thing's going to do good power in the higher ohms. Um, just for shits and giggles, let's run it at 8 ohms and see what it does. Alright, we got a new fuse in there. Uh, we're just going to, for fun, see what this thing does at 8 ohms uh, at a reactive load to give you a better idea of what you're going to see at the very least, even if you would run this at like a 4 ohm load on a single kicker comp or something at a 4 ohm load where usually you have your rise around two to four times your starting impedance load. So this would be the most you're really gonna see of resistance out of this amplifier if you ran at two ohms or four ohms, etc. So if you're at two ohms and you have four times rise, this is the highest you're gonna see. And so the lowest number you're really gonna see out of this amplifier. Um, I don't know what it does, but it's I, I, I know how these amps work, man. They, they are really solid with uh rise they just they, they do well across the board uh you can't run them really low but they do well so uh without further ado here we go eight ohms all right as you can see i could fail to get eight ohms at full power uh, what we're going to try to do is just get the highest we can um, impedance rise. That still is base, not 200 hertz. And see what kind of power we get certified. Okay, that's about as close as we're going to get. Uh, we got 187 watts, 7.3 ohms, close as I could get to 8 ohms. I don't have anything that efficient as an enclosure. I'm using prefabs, believe it or not, for these tests. And they do well, because uh, their rise is relatively the same, about 2. The rise is at 2 at their loudest frequency, or 40 hertz, or whatever you want to say. Um, but yeah, I mean, this amplifier really did well. Uh, we popped the fuse, but you're not supposed to run this thing at 1 ohm, even though we we're seeing 2. Um, a reactive load at its stable power is very tough on the amplifier. Plus, I'm only running 8 gauge wire here. That could be an issue. You could see um, gains in your power with that alone. But otherwise, I think it did great. It didn't do uh, rated at 2 ohms, but otherwise it did way over at 4 ohms. And if it was rated at 8 ohms or 7.3, I think it did very well. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. This was just a quick uh, amp test video for this uh, little tiny Kenwood amp. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.